Autonomy, you enjoy freedom. Let others enjoy freedom. Autonomía, disfrutan de libertad. Que otros gozan de libertad. Hey, it's Mr. Dang. Today I'll be showing you how you can use Microsoft Translator to translate your app into many different languages. To move things along, I'll be using an existing app. If I go to View Data Sources, I can add Microsoft Translator if it's not already added. Click New Connection. The nice thing about Microsoft Translator is you won't need a, an API key for it. It just works right out of the box. Since I already have it added, I can't add it again. Now that it's added, let's bring it into a collection. I'll be using the on visible property so that when I go to this screen, it'll create a collection called all languages where I have a table that has all the languages that I can use. Microsoft Translator languages creates a table with the code for the language and the name of the language. I'll go to another screen and come back to trigger the on visible action. Now I need a way for the user to select the language. I like the combo box because it's easy. It's like a drop down box, but with a search uh, ability. I can configure the items property to all languages, the table I just made. The primary text is going to be the name of the language. Code is just a two letter uh, indicator for the language. If I go into the if I go into the search fields uh, property, I can tell Power Apps which fields I want to search as I type into that bar. I want to search both columns. Let's test it out. I type in ENG and I see English. There's a few more other properties to configure. Let's do those now. I only want to be able to translate to one language at a time, so I set select multiple to false. And upon select, upon changing the language, I want it to set a variable called lang, short for language, to whatever is selected in combo box. For me, it's combo box five dot selected. And that's it. It's different from selected items uh, because it's just an individual language. To make things interesting, let's set the language to Spanish. You can see the little dots at the top of the screen. It's showing that it's translating. I'll go back to the first screen. Here, I have a gallery that already has some text in English. I want to translate it. Here, I'll type in Microsoft Translator translate. Pretty straightforward. And then I'll put in this item dot label because that's what I want to translate. I, I use my variable lang, which I decided earlier, dot code to drill into just the two letter code of the language. You'll see it translated it to Spanish. What if I have English selected though? It's actually going to try to translate English to English. So that's not really useful. So I'm going to use a condition. If the language is English, so language code EN, then don't translate it. Just show whatever's in that field. Uh, otherwise, do translate it. I'll copy that whole thing to the subtitle text box. And this time, instead of label, I'll put in the name of my other field that I want to translate. So I'm reusing a lot of my formula. This particular text box is, has an auto height so that it can adjust as it translates longer and longer pieces of text. 
The next step is, I've already translated this gallery. Let's make it read it out loud. I don't want to make too many calls to the Microsoft Translator API, so I'm going to concatenate what I want to be read out loud. Here, I'm combining title one, a colon, and the subtitle. Um, it's already been translated, so I don't need to translate it again. Message full is going to be that concatenated string. Next, I'm going to be using another variable called message audio. This is where I actually use Microsoft Translator text to speech. I tell it to take what's inside the variable message full and translate it to the language I want. In this case, that other variable, lang.code. Finally, I'm going to be using a yet another variable. This one is going to be activating a, uh, a media player on the screen so that it automatically plays the audio after clicking. Let's go ahead and insert that media now. I'm going to be clicking outside the gallery so that this media box exists outside the gallery. I'll drag it to the bottom of the screen and let's change its media property to message audio, which is going to be the output, uh, outputted audio file. There's a few other properties to configure. I'll use that play audio uh, variable to make this audio player start when it's true, make it reset to zero when it's true, make it auto start, and I'll deactivate auto pause. So this audio player is going to play the sound as soon as it's returned. Let's try it out. Autonomía, disfrutan de libertad. Que otros gozan de libertad. It worked. So Microsoft Translator is very powerful. Not only can it translate text, but it can also read it out loud. What will you translate with it? Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more interesting Power Apps, please subscribe.